Nintendo EPD had its work cut out for them with ARMS. From day one, the spring-loaded Arena Fighter has been thought of as a budget title. Though the Nintendo Switch has been an unprecedented success and consumers are hungering for more games, ARMS still has a bit of an uphill battle to face. In truth, there's a lot more to ARMS than that. Here are 15 things you should know before buying ARMS. Actually, a fighting game. Despite the bright colors and zany premise, ARMS is still very much a fighting game. Each character has their own strengths and abilities, you're encouraged to feint and psych out your opponent as much as dance around and fight. If anything, ARMS is more like an arena brawler confined to a 3D space but in which you can move and jump in. Different Punches There are several different kinds of techniques to pull off in ARMS that further highlight the enhanced motion controls of the Switch. Thanks to HD Rumble, twisting your fist actually puts a spin on your punches, allowing them to curve and catch your opponent unaware. Likewise, quickly jabbing the air will perform a jab, swinging wild is good for roundhouse punches, and opponents can be grabbed and thrown as well. Joy-Cons not required The control scheme of ARMS takes some getting used to. However, if you're not a fan of motion controls or the Joy-Cons, then you can just go the traditional route. Keep the Joy-Cons firmly attached to your Switch, or attach a Pro Controller, and ARMS can be played the traditional way. That kind of takes away the magic of the motion controls, but hey, we won't judge. Rock, Paper, Scissors in line with its easy-to-learn, difficult-to-master gameplay, ARMS follows a rock-paper-scissors style of combat. Blocks can be broken by grabs, grabs can be broken by punches, if you're quick enough that is, and punches can be stopped by blocking. It may sound simple enough, but these are the basic mechanics of any fighting game. How you use them and read your opponent determines the victor. 10 Different Characters ARMS ships with 10 characters, each with their own unique abilities. Twintel has arms in her hair to fight with, she's also capable of slowing down attacks and activating slow-mo while jumping. Then there's Ribbon Girl, who possesses not two, but four jumps and can land faster when dashing. Coupled with other characters like Min Min, Kid Cobra, Master Mummy, and more, there's quite the variety in arms. Arm Types Adding to the game's customization is being able to equip different kinds of arms. Basically, you can change the spring-loaded glove that your character fights with. The variety of arms available includes different elements like a fire arm that sets foes ablaze, a gun arm for attacking from a distance, and much more. But that's not all. Heavy and Light Arms Along with different elements, types, and effects, arms have their own weight as well. Light arms are capable of attacking more quickly, while heavy arms move slower but do more damage. Heavy arms are even more interesting because they can counter light arm attacks. It's a very compelling setup. But wait, there's even more. Different left and right arms. You don't have to stay with one type of arm element or weight in arms. The game encourages you to mix and match as you see fit. It's possible to have a heavy fire arm for doing massive fire damage and a light gun arm for attacking from a distance. This kind of variety encourages players to experiment, and as a result, matches themselves feel different. Game modes. The number of modes in ARMS is rather dizzying. Along with your standard 1 vs 1 competitive mode, there is the single player Grand Prix mode. This offers arcade fights against AI opponents and can be played in 7 different difficulties. Then there is the 2v2, volleyball, basketball, unranked and ranked online matches, and even a 1 vs 100 mode. Each match allows you to customize a variety of settings as well, like number of rounds, health, and so on. Tied Together an interesting note about 2v2 mode, instead of simply fighting alongside a friend, you'll actually be tied to your partner. Though there aren't a lot of movement penalties, both of you must cooperate to succeed. If one person is grabbed for a throw, then both players go flying. Staying alert is tantamount. Or like most other multiplayer games, you can just lose and be done with it. In-game currency. No microtransactions in ARMS. We repeat, there are no microtransactions. ARMS instead rewards players with in-game currency earned from matches and other activities. This currency can then be used to purchase new arms for your fighter. So if you're worried about pay-to-win mechanics, then, well, don't. Free updates. Furthermore, future content for arms will be free. Players won't have to shell out money for new fighters, stages, and arms to equip. This isn't to say that Nintendo won't have some kind of paid DLC for the game, but at present, everything you need to enjoy it for the coming months will be available free of cost. Produced by Kosuke Yabuki. Though arms may appeal to the mainstream crowd, it's a lot like Mario Kart when you think about it. The basic system is easy to pick up and genuinely fun. However, there's a ton of nuance and technique to hammer out first. With that in mind, it should come as no surprise that the producer for ARMS, Kosuke Yabuki, is the same guy who produced Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You know, one of the best games available for the Switch right now. Art Director Speaking of the colorful aesthetic, you can thank Masaki Ishikawa. 
He's the art director for ARMS and also worked on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and New Super Mario Bros. 2 in the same position. Ishikawa was also the character director for New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Mario Kart 7. A lot has been said about easing the Mario Kart crowd into ARMS, and Ishikawa's involvement certainly helps. Not a budget title. Contrary to belief, ARMS isn't a budget title. It costs $60, and for some people, having only 10 characters and 10 stadiums may not be good enough. However, when you factor in the array of multiplayer modes, Grand Prix, the degree of customization, and future updates being free, ARMS is definitely a fully featured game that doesn't skimp on quality, even if the controls take some getting used to. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.